Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's time again for another knife of the day. Usually Monday through Friday we feature a knife. I feature one knife out of my collection one day at a time. And then on the weekends, either Saturday or Sunday, depending on <laughs> how lazy I am, I then do a, um, I bring in a group of knives and I'm just wiping this off from the back. Yeah. I bring in a group of knives. Hold on, let me see. And, and they all have something in common. Um, and then I do a special video and then I'm back on the one a day. Three days ago, I received a wonderful package of three brand new Spydecos. The new Spydeco ATR2, which I couldn't wait. All of these are on the, on, on the playlist. Check out the playlist on this channel. There's a lot of knives, uh, <laughs> talked about on there uh also i had the a new paramilitary 2 with maximat steel and this is the third one another paramilitary 2 spydeco is knocking these things out of the park and this is an exclusive from pinto box shop I'll tell you, it took me a long time when I started collecting Spydeco. Of course, this isn't um, a sponsor. I don't have enough people to sponsor. This isn't a sponsor. But Bento Box Shop, Bento Box Shop, B-E-N-T-O. Uh, I didn't discover them, them uh, until later on in my collecting, where I kept seeing these knives and not knowing where to get them. And when I went on their site, it's not a fancy smancy internet site either. Man, I saw all these exclusives from Spydeco. Also, a couple of things that were hard to find originally were still there. Sometimes the prices were eh, a little higher than I expected, but man, to get these gems. Well, this is an exclusive from Bento Box Shop. If it looks familiar... Uh, this is the Spydeco Para 3 with M390 steel. If it looks familiar, not too long ago, I got the Paramilitary 2 exclusive from Pinto Box Shop with M390 steel. Now remember, I get these because I'm in the Collector's Club, as you can see. But what a great knife. This one was not from the Collector's Club. I picked it out. I picked it up somewhere else. But um, just a wonderful knife. You know, <laughs> there are more para threes out there in such a short time. I don't think Spyderco's done that with any other knife. Yes, they have gone in overdrive with paramilitary twos. You see a lot of those, a lot of um, just a lot of Mannixes coming out. But I'm talking about a new knife that was just introduced, what, a year and a half ago? And all of a sudden, it's filling up <laughs> one of my Pelican cases. Um, <laughs> a big corner in my Pelican case. So this is the Para 2. You guys know it is the baby of the Paramilitary 2. So it's exactly the same, except smaller, in a smaller form factor. 3 inch blade, about 2.75 of it is edge. It has that Spydeco 4060, usually it's 50 50, 4060 choil, 40% 40 of this forward choil, which I love, is blade. The other 40 is handle. The blade part has jimping underneath to help with traction, and you have jimping right there. Three inch. The total size is just 7.3 inches, so it's a nice smaller knife. Only weighs three ounces. Now, M390 steel, 
I say this all the time. It's always a disclaimer, and people have really been helping out in the comments. Um, here's the general description, and I get this from Spydeco. If you can add to it, great. I really love that. I know there are people who are so into steals. I just watched a couple of uh, YouTube knife videos where they were talking about steals, and it sounded like Greek to me. So I'm just telling you right off the bat. And what I meant by Greek is it sounded it sounded beautiful, <laughs> but I didn't understand a word of it. Um, it really is great as a stainless steel. They say the corrosion resistance is huge. So you don't have to worry about it rusting. You still need to take care of it, of course. This is M30 steel we're talking about. It's very tough steel. And um, this is the, the, the thing that, this is the first time I heard someone roll the, put this down as one of the attributes of a steel. Polishability. <laughs> How does that for a word? You won't just drop that in, in conversation, will you? But what they mean is you could polish this. And I think the reason they did that was this is a tool stool, uh, tool blade steel or carpenter steel. It's used in factories, etc. And so they think it's really good for knives because it's tough, because it resists um, corrosion, and also because you can polish it up, make it look pretty. I'm happy to have it. I love these new steels, and of course, the paramilitary 2 and the para 3 in it, and I really like Bento Box and their blue. This is stunning blue G10 on the uh, scales. Stainless steel liners, and of course, the compression lock. The thing that makes the Para 3 so nice is its small size, all the characteristics of a standard Spydeco, and with the compression lock. The interesting thing is, you know, about a year or so ago, I think it's the same time that Spydeco released the first Para 3, they also released the Sage 5 3 inch blade celebrating Spartaco's compression lock. They're very similar. So if you like that 3 inch blade, if you're like a lot of people who love that real tough, great looking, and look right out of the box. Three days ago. I haven't been playing with this. It just falls. I mean, it's just a wonderful knife. Um, then check out the Sage as well. The Sage 5. Huge lanyard hole. I know. Why does Kevin always talk about a huge lanyard hole? <laughs> because very few spiticles, to be honest with you, have a, a lanyard hole big enough to have full lanyard cord through it. Usually, you know, you'd have to skin the cord to get it through. All of the military, paramilitary twos, the para threes, the manixes, there's just certain knives where Spyderco really gives you adequate lanyards. A hole, and I know some people are really into their lanyards and their beads. I'm not one of those, but I love to see the creativity that people have with their knives. Four way clip, right, left, up, or down. Just a real nice knife. The knife of the day, the brand new, hot off the press, Spydeco Para 3 with M390 steel. It's a Bento Box exclusive. BentoBoxShop.com exclusive. Straight from Spydeco. Go check it out. And I wanted to put it next to the Paramilitary 2. And the Delica. So that you get a feel for the size. 
Believe me, this is not the last pair of three that we'll see, I'm sure. A lot more coming out, not the last <laughs> paramilitary two, or Delica either. <laughs> but this is the end of our new, this new uh, Spider Coast. Don't worry, every two weeks or so I get a new batch fresh off of the Spider Coast, out of the Spider Coast shops, or exclusives from distributors that'll come in. And uh, I'll be happy to show them and talk about them here on the Keith Kevin Ken channel. If you enjoy the knife of the day and the previews of all the new Spyticles, don't forget to thumb it up. Enjoy yourself on the playlist. There's a bunch of playlists uh, on this channel with a whole bunch of knives. I think we're close to like 900 different videos or something. Um, subscribe. That really helps me out. Uh, share the videos and uh, turn on your notifications so you don't miss the special videos as well. You guys have a perfect day. Take good care of yourselves and your loved ones. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.